everyone, so today I'm going to bring you a first impression on a couple of products and I'm going to show you how I created this look. Thank you guys for coming and please enjoy the video. Okay, so because I don't have water with me and I don't want to run to the sink right now, I'm going to spritz this with some Fix Plus just to get it a little bit wet. So the foundation that we're going to be trying out today is a first impression too. This video is going to be filled with first impressions. So this is the Infallible Total Cover Foundation by L'Oreal. I have mine in the shade 307. So just for comparison, this is what the packaging on the other ones look like. This is the Pro Matte. This is the Pro Glow. You can see that they have very similar packaging and this one is completely different. Really don't mind this one, but I think I prefer this one just because of I think it's easier to store. Both of these are supposed to have like a medium to full coverage, although the glow, I feel like it's just totally full coverage. It's so good. So I bought this online at Ulta.com. They were having a buy one, get one 50% off on all L'Oreal products as well as the Real Techniques, which is when I bought the sponge. You can't really make a decision on what shade is gonna fit you based on the packaging because the packaging one looks a lot darker than the foundation and two it looks a lot pinker than the foundation so I did my best um, I also watched Katie's video although I watched her video after I had already purchased my stuff but after I saw the swatches on her I was like okay I think I made the right decision I actually swatched it on myself like a couple of days ago um, just like on my hand and it it was almost perfect so let's hope that on my face it's perfect too I'm like horrible at buying foundation online but this one doesn't seem to be available in stores yet so that's why I had to buy it online um, I do think the launch date is January happy new year no yeah just kidding um, it's already 2017 but I it just had not sunk in that it was January I was like for some reason I was like it's still December if I find the date that it will officially release in stores then I will put it down below but for right now you can get it I know on Amazon and then on Ulta as well this is a moisturizer that I recently just got I'm not sure if it's like a moisturizer moisturizer but it's a uh, like a facial cream it's just supposed to like hydrate your skin my skin is like a combination but lately it's been feeling really dry and I really love their moisturizer which comes in a different tube this is just supposed to be like an intense therapy so I'm gonna be using that and uh, like I said it's just called ultra repair cream intense therapy skin protectant with fab antioxidant booster so it just comes in this jar and it's like a regular cream and I'm just going to dot that. There's a lot of product in this, so let's hope this is, like, I'm using it correctly. If anybody knows, like, a skincare rep or something, um, let me know if I'm not supposed to be using this, like, as a moisturizer. I feel like it is a really good moisturizer, though, because it doesn't feel too heavy on my skin. Okay, so now that my moisturizer is on and pretty set, I'm going to just put a little bit of lip therapy because I feel like my lips are a little bit dry. So now that I have like my basic skincare because my skincare is so basic, I'm going to go in with the foundation. When I do my first impressions for foundation, I usually will go in with a brush with for half of my face and then with a beauty blender for the other half. But today I just want to go in with this sponge right here and I'm not going to prime my face. I kind of want to see the foundation on its own. I'm going to squeeze some on the back of my hand. The consistency is really, really, really moussey. It's not going to go anywhere. I'm not exactly sure how much is enough, but since it's supposed to be total coverage, I'm going to go in with this much on one half of my face and then go from there. So I'm just going to go in with the flat side of this diamond sponge. There goes my perfect, really clean sponge. This is a little bit weird and different from the Beauty Blender. The Beauty Blender is so round, so I'm kind of trying to make it round to fit into like my little crevices. I don't think it's as weird as the, the Booby Blender or whatever they call it. So I'm not sure about the color. Like it kind of looks good, but in real life, I feel like it looks whiter. Than I would like. It's weird because when I put it on my actual face, 
it looks yellow like my skin tone but then it gets whiter like it gets lighter and whiter so that's like half of my face I don't think I like it just because the color is so off this is like way too light for me it's not necessarily like the wrong shade I just think it, it has like a really bad undertone even with a moisturizer in real life it looks like you're wearing makeup. It doesn't feel like it, but it definitely looks like you're wearing makeup. And I don't think I have that reaction with every foundation. I have texture on my skin, so it's gonna definitely show, but this one, it's not, it, it's like clinging onto my dry patches. I have to say I'm not impressed with this foundation at all. It's just not matching. Like this area here, it still looks very, pink in comparison to like the outer and then here like around my mouth it looks yellow first impression is that I don't like it you would think that I, I went like 20 shades darker so the packaging is not great in my opinion because it doesn't let you see what the shade actually looks like so in order to fix this look a little bit because I know I'm if I don't like the foundation I'm gonna hate the makeup I'm going to add a little bit of my Pro Glow Foundation. This one is, I think, a shade a little bit darker than my skin tone, so hopefully it'll balance it out. Because in this one, I couldn't find a perfect shade either. And I'm just going to kind of dot that everywhere. You guys can tell this side is like already so much warmer. So now the foundation is complete. I give this a thumbs down. Do not like it at all. I saved it a little bit with the Pro Glow on top. It kind of gave me really great coverage because of this one, the total cover. But it just, by itself, it wasn't enough. And I don't know if I want a foundation that isn't going to be enough on its own. The Pro Glow on its own, I love and it's if it's too glowy I'll just set it with a powder and it's fine I don't I don't have to deal with like two foundations and all this stuff so for me I don't think the total cover is a go I don't really love it like I said you guys just saw my first impression so now I'm going to try to apply my concealer with the same diamond sponge as of right now I really do like the flat of the diamond sponge and I do like how it applied my foundation for concealer I'm gonna go in with my I think this is like my favorite concealer because I always I always really like the way it comes out my baby has hijacked my sponge and my mirror now I have neither neither a sponge or a mirror now I have to go in with another one I'm just gonna apply this I like the applicator. I like the fact that you kind of don't really lose a lot of product because it just pushes it down. I don't know if you guys can tell. So I do like that. Okay, so she gave me back the sponge, thank God. And I'm gonna she got like powder on it and maybe a little baby saliva. So I'm gonna go in with the other end now. But it's blending the concealer quite nicely, so. Sorry if I just moved. My baby kind of just moved my tripod. So, <laughs> doing my best to film with a toddler. New Year's resolutions. Film even though your baby literally just wants to play with all your makeup. I'm going to apply just a little bit of my Kat Von D Lock It Concealer Cream. Just because I feel like this is a little bit heavier. And I really want like perfect under eyes today. This is a creamier um, consistency so we're gonna see how this one goes with this. I feel like this is really good to like perfect if you already have your makeup on, your under eye makeup. It's better than what I usually get so I think it's I think it's fine. I'm sorry if I'm getting a little darker and brighter. The sun is kind of behind clouds and it's coming in and out and I do have my ring light and my soft boxes but the sun's still playing a big role in this lighting situation today. I've already used it, but I want to use um, I want to use it again. So I'm going to be using this shade to set it or kind of like these two first ones here. Just going to kind of set my T-zone. I'm still not sure how I feel about this palette. It's really good so far. I really like the contour shades and I don't have an issue with the powder. I don't know. 
I feel like it might be a little too gray. Like, I feel like the middle shade is a good shade, but this shade, I, I don't, I don't know how I could use it other than, like, an eyeshadow, maybe. Same goes for this, like, peachy color. They're all matte, so I guess, like, the only thing I could do is, like, use it as, like, a base. Still trying to decide how I feel about this foundation. I mean, I can't decide now because I can't really make up my mind anymore about it because I already put on another one, but I didn't like it on its own, and I kind of still don't even really like it with the total glow, but we're going to make it work. All right, so for eyebrows, I'm going to be using this kit from Too Faced. It's kind of like an older kit, and I got it like at Nordstrom Rack, and I kind of got it and forgot about it. I always do that. I get stuff, and then I forget about it. But I forgot how good it is and how much I like it. My baby's already eyeing it. Wow. She has foundation all over her face. She has powder. Her face looks perfect. And her shirt is all messed up. Can I have it? Please? No? Okay, okay. I won't ask. She doesn't want to give it to me. She's backing away and making a face. Okay, fine. So I'm just going to brush my brows through... I'm gonna pick up a little bit of that wax that's in this kit. I don't think it's like the best, but this tiny little brush is like definitely like the perfect eyebrow brush for me. I feel like it just creates like very realistic looking brush strokes. I try I try to do the best I can with my eyebrows. They never come out perfect, but I love this brow. I hate this brow goes down and the hairs like don't grow so it can't be as feathery as this one it looks like this for eyes I have an exciting first impression I have two brushes from ColourPop as well as the peachy keen collection and this is like their peach quad I think totally inspired by the sweet peach palette this is definitely something that is more affordable is more accessible to people Drum roll. I'm going to be giving one of the Peachy Keen away with a couple of, I think like with one other shadow and one brush. This is what they look like. They are super adorable. They have baby pink handles and they just say color pop and it's a blending and a like application brush. I know Luxie was like having a heart attack about how similar the brushes looked, but I mean... Okay, so I'm going to be using the quad. There's three matte shades, which is really good because I was like, ugh, they're all sparkly. Okay, so uh, we have three mattes, one shimmer. Kennedy is so pretty. The next shade we have is Bandit. It looks similar to one I have. This next one is Cornelius. Cornelius is the collab with Kathleen Lights. And the last one we have is Crimper, which I also own Crimper. So I'm going to grab the ColourPop Blending Brush and Kennedy, which is like the super peach shade. And I'm just going to start with that. And we're going to put that on the crease. I feel like because it's a little bit flatter, it's a, a little bit of a flatter blending brush, it works really great with these eyeshadows. There we go. I love Kennedy. Next, I'm going to go in with a little bit of Cornelius. And with the same blending brush, I'm kind of just going to go over Kennedy a little bit. And I'm not going all over Kennedy because I do want it to show. Then I'm going to go in with Bandit. So we're just going to put that on the outer. It's going to be like a little bit of a smoky, peachy look. Just kind of like dip in it and we'll get it out. Just going to bring it in a little bit up. Now that we're done with the matte shadows, I'm going to go in with Crimper and the like shader brush, all over application brush. I heard this brush was amazing for ColourPop shadows, so I'm really excited. I do wish this shade was like a little bit more peachy, but this brush is so awesome and very precise. I feel like with a little bit of Fix Plus, this would really go all the way. So I'm gonna apply some. All right, so I'm gonna dip into my eyeshadow. Oh, wow. I like this eyeshadow. I don't like it with this quad. I feel like they could have done better. 
just feel like they could have done a better job of picking an eyeshadow for this quad. Something a little bit peachier. I'm going to go back in with the blending brush. I'm going to go back into the shade and light and just pick out that yellow shade with that same blending brush. I don't care. I'm going to apply it to the to my brow bone. So I'm going to go back into the shade and light. I'm going to go into the contour shades. First, I'm going to go into like kind of like the deeper color and contour kind of really hard for me because I don't have that natural like cheekbone. So then I go in with this Sedona lace brush. I love this brush for contouring. So that's kind of what it looks like. I feel like the powders are very good. So this is a Too Faced bronzer that I haven't used yet. I've had it for a while and it's the Sweet Tea Bronzer. So I'm going to go in with this Morphe brush, just kind of going to both. And oh, wow. Okay, that's really pigmented. It's a lot more pigmented than I imagined. For my lips, I'm going to go in with one of the satins from the Just Peachy Trio. So they have two mattes and one satin. So this is what the lip looks like. It's going to match perfectly. The last thing I'm going to do before I apply my mascara is... So the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to apply lipstick and this is the Ultra Satin from Colourpop in Screenshot. Okay, we're going to attempt to do this with June right here. This is like a super terracotta peachy shade. I'm actually really glad they went back to their old wands because the new ones suck. Oh wow, this is a really beautiful color. So that is what screenshot looks like. It's so beautiful. I love it. I can't I can't get over it. The application was fairly easy, so I'm really glad with the satin still. I haven't actually worn a ColourPop lipstick in such a long time that it kind of feels like a first impression to me, but this color is so gorgeous. And lastly, for mascara, I'm just going to apply the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. This is one of like my favorite mascaras. I usually don't like the full-size one, but I got it in a palette. I'm just going to apply generous coats of this mascara on my top and lower lashes. Alright guys, so that is it for this look. This is my first impression of a couple of products that I had kind of corded up. So make sure you read the description so you can read more about the giveaway. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video. I know it was like a little bit of a talk through. Might have been a little bit boring. But yeah, this is just my first impression on these products. I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching. And please don't forget to subscribe.